Hello everyone, I'm Bruffy1322 and this video is going to show the fastest fully upgraded vehicles in the GTA Online Vans class in terms of lap time. As always, the position counter is in the top left with the best lap time the vehicle achieved in the top right, and for this 2020 series I'll be showcasing the non-raceable vehicles first. So even though, for example, the armoured Boxville is in the Vans class and is close to the top overall, since it can't be used in regular van races, it's not going to be included in the main list. We start the regular raceable vehicles list with the Surfer in 20th place overall. This video only focuses on track performance, so if you're interested in top speed where braking, cornering and acceleration aren't relevant, check the link in the description for the top speed testing series. And if you want to know more information about this testing, including the extent to which it's accurate and how useful it is for you personally, have a read of the full description as everything that you need is in there. This video lists all vehicles and is correct as of the Casino Heist update. For any vans added after that or other classes of cars, check the playlist linked in the second line of the description and feel free to check out my Patreon or become a YouTube member if you want to support this work and get testing results of any new cars a little bit early. So we're in the very very slow vehicles standing out as you would expect from the vans class. A lot of vehicles here can't even be upgraded. The Journey, the Taco Van and even vehicles that we're about to see like things like the Speedo and the Pony, you can't store them in your garage. The Speedo you can but most of them you can't store in your garage. You can't upgrade them at Los Santos Customs so they don't get uh, engine upgrades, turbo, transmission, anything like that. And that is part of why th their lap times are, are pretty slow. Obviously these big bulky vehicles like the Camper, th there's kind of a big gap to, from these vehicles to the Yuga Classic here, which you can upgrade and you can store, but it's still very, very slow. And then there's another big gap to sort of the more standard vans that you're, you're likely to see around in traffic. And then we've got another big gap from them up to the vehicles that you can actually upgrade and they have a bit about them as well in terms of pace for the class. Obviously, the Speedo here, this is just a regular Speedo and it's the, the clown van that we're going to see in 13th place basically gets exactly the same lap time because the clown van is just a, a reskinned speedo and then we've got the speedo custom that we'll see later on that you get in the nightclub that's a different vehicle entirely but i will point out that obviously the first vehicle that we saw the surfer is the slowest fully upgradable raceable vehicle in the game and like, like as you've seen it's slower than a lot of vehicles that aren't upgraded the Pony here gets a 1 minute 26, that's without upgrades, you can't add engine, transmission, turbo onto the Pony, and that is significantly, you know, over 20 seconds per lap quicker than the Surfer. Things like the Taco Van and the Camper, they're all super slow vehicles, can't be upgraded, and they're still quicker than a Surfer that does get engine, transmission, turbo, brake upgrades, it gets the lot and it's still incredibly slow. The only vehicles in the game that get performance upgrades and are slower than a surfer are the Half Track, the Chernobog, and the TM02 Kanjali, which is the slowest fully upgradable vehicle in the game. So, really slow from the surfer, but yeah, I guess that's not really a surprise at this point. So, as we're coming into the top 10, obviously only 20, 20 raceable vehicles in the Vans class, 23 vehicles overall. Feels like a nice size, to be honest, for a class. We've got so many classes that have you know so such such big amounts of cars now it feels like this is the right amount sort of between 15 and 20 but as we're into the top 10 we're, we're into the the vehicles that can be upgraded they can be stored you can you can often buy them from the, the in-game websites they're, they're a lot of downloadable vehicles things like that the bug stars burrito which is a you would you could say it's a new vehicle the only thing that's new about the Bugstars Burrito is that you can upgrade it. Previously, the, the the livery that you see on the Bugstars Burrito was just a different livery for the regular burrito that we saw in the early part of the video. Just in the same way that the clown van is basically a reskin speedo, the burrito that we saw in the early part of the video that you can't race with and you can't even store it or upgrade it, that what the, uh, that has meant that comes with many liveries and the Bugstars version was one of them. Rockstar then, with the Casino Heist DLC, separated the Bugstars livery and turned it into its own vehicle, the Bugstars Burrito, that you can upgrade, and that's why it gets a significantly quicker lap time than what we saw from the original Burrito, 
and also the Gang Burrito, the Lost version, which is and again another reskinned regular burrito, um, and that's why they got the same lap time as well. But yeah, the only difference with the the Bug Stars burrito and a regular burrito is that the Bug Stars version can be upgraded and now stored in your garage and also bought. But even those upgrades aren't enough to put it into the top five for the Vans class. So the Bison here in fourth place always used to be the number one in the Vans class before we had DLC vehicles. Quite why the Bison is in the Vans class we've never been able to work out ever since 2013. But uh, it's still up there in the top five just ahead of the minivan custom that we saw in uh, fifth place. Obviously the Benny's version of the, the regular minivan. The, there was quite a decent, uh, a decent gap from to, to to fourth place from fifth and then we've got fourth and third places here that are relatively similar on pace and then we're going to see another decent gap up to the top two but just to mention that the speedo custom it seems like it's a bit of an oversight from rockstar because it can actually be used in races even in regular races with its weapons still enabled. So if you have a speedo custom from the nightclub and you've got all sorts of weapon modifications and armor on it you can still take that into a Vans race and use it. And there's so many vehicles, you know, like the Ardent is the prime example in the Sports Classics class that has two piddly little guns on it and can't be used. Where yet it seems like it's an oversight with the Speedo Custom that, you know, it shouldn't be allowed to be used in races, or if it should, the, the weapons should be disabled. But as it stands, the Speedo Custom can be used in races even if you've got weapons on it. So. It doesn't matter because it's it's not as quick as the top two as we're seeing here that we take a big jump there of about two seconds per lap from the Speedo Custom to the Gang Burrito which is in second place with a 117.5. The, the top two are, are certainly uh, leagues ahead of everything else and obviously the Gang Burrito, this is the, the, the Gang Burrito vehicle that came with the, uh, the, the, the original heists update not to be confused with the lost version of the Gang Burrito that we saw earlier in the video. And it's almost on exactly the same pace as the Rumpo Custom, which is ultimately the number one, but only one tenth of a second quicker around the lap. At this point, feel free to subscribe if you haven't already for regular lap time and top speed testing videos and updates when new cars are released, and check out other classes in the playlist. But the Rumpo Custom, it, it, it has a, a interesting nuance about it that there's a very small number of cars also have as well and that is the fact that it can wiggle boost. Now you might have heard of curb boosting, brake boosting, there's all sorts of weird little nuances in the game but wiggle boosting is probably the most ridiculous and a small number of cars can do this. Obviously the Rumpo Custom is a notable one but also the Brioso RA in the, uh, the Compacts class and basically you wiggle the stick, the, the, uh, the, the left stick, left and right multiple times and it induces a curb boost effect which gives you more speed. So you're wiggling the back end of the car around as you're going down a straight and that will induce more speed in the car and make you go quicker. Obviously I don't test with any of those little weird differences. I try to keep my testing as uh, as sort of the, the keep the variables as minimized as possible and, and keep it all straightforward but in general, even though the Rumpo Custom here, as we'll see from the comparison, is almost on exactly the same pace as the Gang Burrito, really in practice, if you're doing this wiggle boosting and exploiting it, the, the Rumpo Custom is going to be significantly quicker than the Gang Burrito in any normal racing situation, because it basically gives it more top speed, and the that it's basically top speed that the Gang Burrito has over the Rumpo Custom. It is a bit of a shame that the Rumpo Custom can do that because we, we do have an interesting sort of balance at the top of the Vans class with the, the Gang Burrito's better straight line speed, which will obviously have the top speed testing for the, the Vans coming next week as well if you want to check that out. But the, the Gang Burrito has the better straight line speed over the Rumpo Custom, whereas the Rumpo is, is better around the corners. So it is an interesting balance when you're driving both cars properly, both vans properly I should say, but obviously the Rumpo Custom in most situations when utilizing it to the maximum and, and doing everything that you can to be quick with it, with this wiggle boosting it will be, uh, it will be the number one. Regardless, it is still the number one in the vans class, uh, even just when driving it properly, but the, the gap is significantly bigger when you're, when you're you know, exploiting the wiggle boosts. 
So that is the entire Vans class. We've had a few changes from the last time I did it in terms of the Speedo Custom being added and actually being raceable, the Bug Stars Burrito now being different. But in general, the top two are significantly ahead of everything else and they haven't really changed. So that's pretty much it. Consider supporting on Patreon or become a YouTube member if you want to get testing results early. And remember to read the description for more info, comment with your thoughts, like the video if you enjoyed or found it helpful and subscribe for more. Thank you all so much for watching. I really do appreciate it and I'll see you next time.